Finally made it to the Caprivi strip and it's lush, tropical, hot, humid, rainy, A all those things. Mosquitoes. Mozzies and we're loving it. It's and uh, to our delight this morning uh, we looked across the river and we saw would you say a herd of hippo probably not the collective no. now um, but they've got babies and, uh, and we saw buffalo and we saw buffalo uh, there were nine buffalo this morning yeah yeah and birds like birds, almost a flock. Like, no but <laughs> <laughs> i'm talking about like a whole bank sheet of a collection of different types of birds it's like i feel like we're in one big aviary here it's just crazy the amount of yeah we've seen some bird calls and we've seen some very exotic birds yeah. one of them is being diane the diane spotted <laughs> no oh of course <laughs> The plumage. The opportunistic behavior. The plumage is just marvelous. <laughs> well, welcome back to episode three. We would like to welcome all the new subscribers. And a special thank you to all of you who are still with us and still enjoying the journey. Remember to leave a comment in the comment section. We would love to hear from you. Come shine. <laughs> a little bit more enthusiastic if you want rain. It's been threatening to rain heavily. We can see in the distance a massive downpours. It's been skirting us. It's we've got the we tail end. Grateful. Yeah, we've got the tail end. Uh, but we're still nervously in and out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty fire. You can either camp or you can stay in one of the little tree houses that look straight over onto the river. But it's very eccentric here. And they've got all the different um, toilets and showers and each one has a different theme. Yeah. The toilet of Eden. No doors. There's just a little pole across to let somebody know that you're in there. So no surprise situations. And yeah, it's just a magical, magical place.
So we got totally rained out last night at about 2 in the morning. It just started raining uh, with increasing intensity and everything was wet. There was dripping in the tent and um, yeah, so we were a little bit like drowned rats this morning. And um, yeah, packed up and we are on our way now to Namba. We left this morning from Ngepi and it was cold, not cold, coolish for this area and very wet and we've just got here and it is super hot, hot. Um, but apparently there's been very good um, game sightings they spotted some leopard this morning halfway between the space point here and the border for Botswana which is good news and they yesterday they spotted Cape wild hunting dogs at a site called Predator survival survival <clears throat> I don't want to be right all the time but survival <laughs> Um, so the game drives basically uh, meander along the Kwando River and uh, we will be looking for game, hopefully some elephants. Now we're waiting for our friends to arrive. And there they come. Let's, Let's go. go. We are finally in the Bobwata Nature Reserve. It is time again to dial down and tune in to the last wild spaces of our time. We now have the privilege of putting ourselves against nature and to take stock of a moment in time. It might seem like a huge investment for random encounters with wildlife, but for us it is not. We surrender to nature's rhythms and find ourselves in another reality. As voyeurs, we witness a world that is both beautiful and wild. And, in a small way, by sharing our story, we hope to contribute to the awareness and preservation of these fragile places. Campsite. Obwata National Park, established in 2007 as a result of the merging of the Caprivi Game Park and the Mahango Game Reserve. On the western border flows the Okavanga River and the village of Devundu. On the eastern border, the town of Kongola and the Kwando River making up most of the Caprivi Strip. Its existence is important, giving safe passage for elephants, buffalo and other migrating animals between Botswana, Angola, Namibia and Zambia. 
Upon entering the park, one is confronted by the lush riverine woodlands along the banks of the Kwanda River. The natural habitat is unique and one realizes that for such large animals to thrive, all creatures, big and small, work together in an unwritten contract. Uniquely though, humans have to cohabit the space as well. Water is the Horseshoe Lake. At sunset, the elephants come down for a sundowner. On our first game drive, we got spoiled and witnessed the spectacle from a beautiful vantage point. The herd had numerous young, and the young wolves gave us an insight to their playful nature. Homeward bound, we took the shortcut through the That's forest funny. and stumbled on a rare sighting of a leopard. We had a brief glimpse and I tried to capture this elusive animal. They are not great shots. But it is interesting to note that the leopard is almost invisible in each pick. See if you can spot the leopard. Remember, if you like this channel, <laughs> what do you have to do? You have to like and subscribe. Please, please. We value your subscriptions. Support. And we feel the love, <laughs> and it's a free way to support us.